This video is sponsored by our friends at Factor. More on that later. What's up guys, today we are going to be reviewing the Tonal Trainer. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, this is Drew from Taylor Tech, and on this channel we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And that's why this video is a little bit different than something I would typically do, and that is reviewing a piece of gym equipment, but it's smart gym equipment, right? The tonal is awesome. I'll just start out by saying that. The technology that's put into this piece of equipment is really quite amazing. Now this isn't a full tutorial on how the thing works, what you can expect from it, what kind of results you can get from it. There's other great channels on that. There's all kinds of great reviews on the tonal. I'm gonna to be looking at it from a tech guy's perspective. I'm gonna be looking at the tech part of it. It's got all kinds of different data points that you can look at to see your progress or see where you're struggling and that sort of thing. The biggest one being what's called the strength score. So you do an initial weight assessment with a few different workouts that gets you an initial strength score. And that automatically sets your weights for any movement, whether it's upper body, lower body, core, it knows where to set the weight based on that first assessment. With that said, the data points, your strength score will increasingly go up as long as you keep pushing yourself. It's not gonna do the work for you, right? So being able to see the score on not only the upper, lower, and your core, you can also break it down by which muscles in those specific groups are the strongest. And you can work on your weaker ones more, that sort of thing. I just like being able to see that because going to the gym, which I used to do, I was never consistent with it because I just didn't really know what I was doing. The instructors with the different programs with the tonal are top notch. It is just as good as any other type of instructor-led smart screen out there from what I've seen. And they really help you with your form in the sense of telling you exactly what you need to do, showing you what you need to do on screen, that sort of thing. I'll get back into form feedback in just a little bit. Now, other data points that it has are when you're doing a program, let's say it's a four by four, so four times a week for four weeks, and it will point out in a graph how much you've improved by a percentage each week. So as you can see here, for example, this program, which I just finished, you can see that each week I've improved and that's just good to see. That keeps me motivated, keeps me honest, and it allows me to see the improvements, whether that be physically or just digitally. It depends what you're going for. If you're going for strength or if you're going for muscle mass, you know, that sort of thing. So if you don't see it on your body, at least you can see it on the screen and you know you're getting stronger. That's a huge motivation for me. The coaches aren't watching your form because it's not one-on-one -on -one live session. They do have live sessions, but that's, that's just them and you're following along with them, which are great by the way, but that's not what we're talking about here. The machine does give you form feedbacks because it knows your range of motion based on this wavy graph you see here. It knows if you're going up far enough or down far enough, or if you're taking too long to get to one peak or the other. It knows when you're not pushing as hard as you can based on the power output. So you can see on screen, the left side is the power output. And if you stay above that 80%, that's kind of where you want to be. And it knows that next time it can up your weight by a pound or two. And if you're under that 80% mark, then maybe you should either lower weight or stay where you're at until you can do it more. But it does tell you if you're not doing your movements properly based on what what the cables can read from you. It's not perfect, it doesn't always read, and sometimes it gives you false alarms. Sometimes when I know my form is perfect, it gives me feedback to do something differently. Just ignore it. Now let's take a minute here and talk about the most important part of weight training or losing weight, and that is nutrition. That's our diet, right? And that is where today's sponsor comes in. Factor. Factor is a food delivery service that's delivered straight to your door and is fresh, never frozen. They offer keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan and vegetarian options, along with 27 different meals that change weekly and 34 different types of add-ons, such as these smoothies here, that you can add to your box and customize 
really how you want your weekly meals to go. Your plan can range anywhere from four to 18 meals per week to offer a wide variety of options if you only need a few meals per week or every meal replaced. This Factor is really does have a lot of options for you. A standout feature of Factor is that the meals are never frozen. They are fresh straight to your door and it only takes two minutes in the microwave or the oven to cook. I have a full-time job still, so I take them to work. I pop them in the microwave there. It tastes just as good, in my opinion, in the microwave as it does in the oven. And even here at home, I don't have to worry about cooking some days. We can just pop it in the microwave, spend more time with our kids. You don't have to worry about making the kitchen such a mess. In our case, it is nice to be able to supplement factor in with our daily life. So it's about lunchtime. So let's go ahead and have some smoky maple barbecue ground beef. I'm going to go ahead and cook this in the microwave. So before we taste test the meal, I wanna mention that you can get a discount of $6.19 per meal and up to $120 off of five weeks of meals. The first link in the description will be that link for you or you can use this discount code here. Covers are good. Mm. That's really good. Seasoned, very nice. These meals really are an amazing alternative to fast food, for example. You don't have to go eat that terrible food when you can order something like this that's gonna be a whole lot healthier and have a lot more variety that changes every week. I mean, you really can't go wrong, especially if you have a busy lifestyle and you just need a quick meal, Factor is the way to go. You know, you would never know that this wasn't just freshly cooked. If this tastes like a meal that my wife would have just made and plated it up for me, maybe she might do that in the future now. Just microwave a factory meal and put it on a plate. I'll never know. Seriously, this is very good. It definitely tastes very fresh. It doesn't taste like it's been uh, reheated. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was saying. It's delicious. Now, when you're doing a program and you're following along with an instructor, it basically lays every workout for you, every movement done for you, so you don't really have to think about it. If you're used to doing this on your own, you can set up your own programs, basically, and do your own thing. Either way, you can use different weight modes. Now, let me break those down for you because those are what really makes this thing really smart and how the AI really comes into play here, especially with the Smart Flex. So let me start with Spotter. You're struggling, you're really struggling to get the weight up and you're holding it a good four seconds and you just can't go any further well spotter mode will kick in if you have it selected it is almost always on by default and it will drop the weight by a pound or two and allow you to finish your rep regardless of what you're doing and it's really impressive it really makes you work for it though which is good it doesn't kick in when you don't want it to you really have to be struggling for the spotter mode to kick in it's just like a spotter in the gym where you're saying don't help don't help don't help. Okay, help, 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 help. I've had the tonal for about uh, three months now. I've used it every day or every other day since then. The Smart Flex. That's where the AI really shows and shines. And the best way I can describe it is when you have a dumbbell, it doesn't know which part of your movement is your weakest part or your strongest part, right? You're just kind of powering through it. If you're getting to like a halfway point and that's your weak point, your dumbbell doesn't know it. It's dumb. It says it right in the name. But when you're pulling with the Smart Flex engaged with the handles, it knows that that may be your weakest part of the movement. So it'll drop your weight for that part of it and increase it for maybe the eccentric part or the rest of your movement. It will change the weight up and down throughout your rep so that you can get the most out of the exercise possible. Your weakest points aren't slowing down your strong points. I hope that makes sense. The other mode is eccentric. So that means that on the way down, the eccentric part of the movement, it is increasing weight. And you can change how much you want it to work. If you're doing a program, it's already preset for you. You don't have to think about it. All these different dynamic modes that are just amazing. And that last one is chains. It's the opposite of eccentric. Just like using chains on a barbell in the gym, for example. The further you push, the heavier it gets. The bottom of your rep, it's light, the top of your rep, it's the heaviest, and it will gradually increase as you go. So that sort of thing is very helpful in certain situations. All these different dynamic modes can be intermingled. You can create your own custom workouts with this. 
the programs have them built in, especially the newer ones. They're all just really interesting, dynamic ways of switching things up and shocking your muscles into growing more and really uh, allowing hypertrophy to kick in. So another standout feature is how you can adjust the weight by one pound increments. That's something that you can't do at the gym usually. Usually you have dumbbells increased by five pounds or so, or you have plates on either side increased by two and a half, so a five pound total. With the tonal, you can increase the weight by one pound at a time, whether you use the arrows or use this dial here. And this is where you can switch between smart flex, eccentric, or if you want to turn spotter or burnout on and off. Now, five pound increments may not seem like a lot when you're doing a heavy movement like a bench press or a squat or deadlift or something like that. But when you're doing front raises or lateral raises, one pound increments will get you to that five pound jump a lot faster instead of having to just go with the, we'll go with the lighter weight until you can jump up to five pounds. So one pound increments is a huge game changer with the tonal. Now the tonal does have music built in. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of its own thing and they just added Amazon music if you use that. Unfortunately, I don't use Amazon music, so it doesn't really help me any. I would really like to see Spotify in the future. So that's one downside I have with it. Another huge benefit of the tonal is to be able to get into position safely before any weight is applied to the handles, bar, or rope. So that, that way you're safe, you're in position, you can turn the weight on from the Bluetooth handle or the bar module, and then do your movement, turn the weight right back off, and you don't have to worry about getting into position with a bunch of weight on and potentially hurting yourself or damaging the machine or something like that. So I didn't think it would be that big of a deal at first, but that is one of my favorite things about the machine, as opposed to something like free weights. Now, another downside with the tonal is the price. It's uh, three grand plus another 500 for the, I don't know why they call it optional, it's definitely necessary accessories. So you're talking 3,500 bucks plus another 200 for shipping. So after taxes, you're looking at close to four grand. It's definitely steep. I mean, you just gotta see if it's worth it for you. No one else can make that choice. Another downside with it is the uh, max weight modes, or it's a downside for some. If you're squatting four or five, 600 pounds, it's not gonna be for you. You know, the max weight on these are 200 pounds total, 100 pounds per arm. It doesn't sound like a lot, but let me tell you, digital weight is a lot heavier than standard weight. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but if you had a pulley, and you had a 10 pound weight, you put 10 pounds on the tonal, yes, it will equal. It will equalize. It's the same weight, but it's consistent. There's no leverage, there's no swing. You can swing a dumbbell up. You can't do that because it's attached to a cable. It's 30% heavier. Let me just put it that way. I know this because I've been to the gym, that's what I've seen online. <laughs> it's not an exact number. I'm not gonna say it's 130 pounds per arm and 260 total, but most people out there, like myself, most average people, it's going to be perfect for. I hope one day I can max it out, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. That's the goal. It's a goal with my tonal is to max it out because it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a long ways down the road until that can happen. All right, well, I hope I gave you some insight into your purchase decision for the tonal. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. There is a referral program for tonal. My uh, link is in the description below. It's no more for you. Actually, I think it gives you a little bit of a discount as well if you use my link. So I would appreciate it if you did that. I'll leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions about factor or tonal. And I will see you guys in the next video.